welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I've turned my freezer into a smart freezer using the Notion app. Let's dive right in and take a look. So I can't be the only person who's struggled to keep on top of what's in their freezer at any given time. Confronted by frosted drawers, iced up packages of food you put in there months ago or longer and forgot about, and an inefficient use of limited space. Food waste is a problem that we should all do our bit to tackle. So, I wondered, as I often do, how could Notion help? Right, here we have it, my smart freezer system. Now it's not actually smart in the technical sense because it doesn't manage my freezer supplies automatically or anything, but it has transformed my freezer management. Let me talk you through it. We have the food item here, then a relevant tag for meat to vegetables, desserts and ready meals. Then we have a field for quantity and I update this as stocks change. Then we have the all important use by date. Packaged food will have this displayed on the box. For raw meat, so if you're freezing your own fruit and vegetables, you will want to look up how long you can freeze an item for. Then we have a tick box for whether I need to defrost it to use it or whether it can be cooked or used from frozen Finally, we have a field for adding a link to a relevant recipe. Up here, I have my alternate views. I've got a meat view so I can see my meat stocks. I have a timeline view, and this is really handy. It displays all my items, with the ones at the top being the ones that need to be used first. You can see it plots ahead, so I can see when items need to be consumed. So let's say I've been to the shop, and I have a new item to add to the freezer. I add new fill in the details, and there we go. Very easy. Now, I want to add a new view. For those evenings when there's nothing in the fridge and you haven't defrosted anything, I want to add a view that shows me what I have in stock that can be cooked from frozen. I'll add a view, filter, and I want to select cook from frozen tick box, and there you go, very handy. Grab an old tablet and keep it by your freezer or simply update the app as you go on your phone. If there was some sort of magnetic holder I could use, then sticking the tablet onto my fridge door would be pretty cool. Well, I hope that was useful. There's a copy of the template I've used in the description below. Please go and check it out and duplicate it and put it in your Notion. Please do comment below if you have any suggestions about how I could improve my freezer database. I'm going to be making some more Notion videos, including how I'm using Notion in the garden still. So please do a like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more. As always, you can always check out my website, andy-experience.com, where you can find copies of my templates for free for you to use at home. Many thanks for watching and I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.